Hi guys, Ash here, and welcome to my first FIFA 13 video. As you can see, it's a career mode video, and I'm calling it the career mode show. This is my brand new series. It's going to be the main series on my channel. We'll be doing other videos, ultimate team, um, some goal compilations, and some other stuff. We'll see what happens, but I'm I'm back to regular uploads, and I'm really wanting to do the series for you guys. It's been really, it's been requested by so many people um, that watch my old series. If you didn't know, if you only subscribed to me in the last year, I had an old manager mode series. Um, from FIFA 10, and you can actually it's still still on YouTube now. If you put in my balls of magic in the search bar, you'll find uh, my manager mode series on there on my old channel. You can watch. I I'm not, don't think I've got the whole series, but I had most of them on there. So yeah, you can go on there. You can search that as my old series. That was really successful. A load of people loved it. And back then, I've got to say, there's only about four or five people doing like series like that kind of thing in FIFA 10. But now FIFA 13's got so much popular YouTube gaming community's got so much popular kind of thing. There's loads of people. When I searched the other day, there must have been at least 40 people doing their own series now. So that's really good. If you guys want me to check out your series, then please let me know. Um, uh, tweet me on Twitter and all that stuff, or uh, send me a message kind of thing. And I'll definitely have a look because I love watching the career mode videos from anyone. So just let me know. And uh, I might be able to help you guys out with a shout out. Um, I'll probably post other series in my description as well. So, yeah, once like I said, really looking forward to this. I can't wait to get started. So, it's the first episode. We'll just say that I'm coming over a cold and a sore throat. So, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit croaky or a little bit down, or maybe I am. Um, I don't sound too enthusiastic or whatever. <laughs> um, I am enthusiastic about this series. Though. <laughs> like I said, I'm really excited about doing it. But uh, yeah, just got a sore throat and a cold. So, hopefully, it won't won't affect my voice too bad. I'm starting at the bottom then in League 2, as you can see I've picked my team, done all the settings and everything, playing a world class. I was going to go to Legendary, but I've already just started playing the game, so if I find it too easy, I will push it up, but um, I think world class is a fair enough standard to start playing that. We're going to be in League 2, and I've picked Rotherham United. Um, a nice little up-and-coming little side, and they're trying to get somewhere. Obviously, they've got a brand new stadium in real life. Um, it's called the new Rotherham United Stadium. Fantastic name. So original there. <laughs> so, yeah, going to be used. I use the same name and everything, just trying to keep it the same. Um, obviously, the idea is trying to take Little League 2 Rotherham to the Premiership. But in career mode, as we know, um, you get other, you get other job offers, don't you? Um, you get other spanners thrown in the work kind of thing. So I might move teams. If I don't, could even end up getting sacked, really, couldn't I? If I don't do a good enough, good enough job. So we'll see what happens. It would be a nice story to take Rotherham from League 2 to the Premiership, but if I get other offers, um, I will have to consider them. So hopefully I'll, I'll take your guys' input as well on what I should do. So I'm going to try and share it with you guys as well. So it's not just me making the decisions. We're all in this together. As you can see, I'm just going through the squad there. I went through the calendar first just to see we had Wickham away and Burnley at home in the first two games. No, Burnley away, sorry, in the Cup. So that's a nice Cup fixture. Going through the squad then. Um, there's not many players that I really know to be honest, but uh, Nicky Hunt there is right back from Bolton. Uh, previously he's played for Bolton, sorry. Ainsworth, good fast player, young player, had him on the team last year. Um, O'Connor's not a bad player, but he's injured for me at the start of the season. Um, Odijay, uh, very, very, well, his acceleration's not very good, but once he gets going, his sprint speed and obviously his strength is fantastic, so he's going to be a big, strong player. Johnny Mullins there, number six, used to play for Reading, so I know all about him. Obviously, as a Redden fan, I know a lot of previous Redden players. Agar, I think he should be at Everton, I think that's right, as like a youth player. So, And Nardi Yellow, um, I think he was at Exeter last season, or season before that, something about that. Don't know too much about League 2 and League 1, obviously. I'm mainly Championship and Premiership fan, but I do know a bit about the league footballs as I watch them quite a lot. So we haven't got a bad squad, and we've got a fair about of and we've got a fair bit of money to spend as well. Um, the reason why I picked Rotherham is I was wanting to pick a team like that. I was trying to, trying to progress, trying to get somewhere and make it a bit of a challenge as well. So that's the only reason why I really picked Rotherham. It's quite fancy being them, to be honest. Like a nice new stadium. They've got some decent young players, a nice little squad. And they're trying to, they're trying to go places. So let's, let's see if we can do it. Just going through the emails saying that you get at the start saying what we need to do. They want me to gain promotion. So obviously I'm going to have to try and build a decent squad there and try and stay at the top of the table for as long as possible. As always, then when I start off my career mode, I go into the players, look through, sort them out wide position, and look through who who we are. Then I look through the youngst players, get them get them out on loan because honestly, I'm, I don't really want to be playing them. Um, obviously, if we're going for a promotion, we need the strongest squad possible. So the young players like Lucas here, he's only 16 and only rated 48. Let's get him out on loan. Gets hopefully he will get some game time and just improve a little bit. And obviously, if there's any other positions like here, we've got three right backs. I'm not really going to need three right backs in the season, so um, I don't know much about any of them. Bradley's probably the better player. Right, Nicky Hunt there, as we can see. I can't sell him because 
update. He's only just recently joined, so it's either Tong or Bradley have to sell. Um, they're pretty much like for like Bradley and Tong. Yeah, that's not really much difference in between both of them. But uh, as yeah, Tong's Tong's the older one, so uh, I, I think I'm going to sell Tong. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we'll put Tong on the transfer list, and we'll keep Bradley. Uh, centre midfielders then. I really don't know what formation we play yet, but I kind of favour the 4-2-3-1, 4-5-1, 4-4-1-1 formations at the moment. I just think it looks it works better with the wingers. You have two centre midfielders, uh, like two CDMs, just to cover the back four, because defending can be pretty awful sometimes in FIFA 13. O'Connor, yeah, he's a decent player, good passing ability, so definitely keeping him. Um, who's this? Arneson. It's quite slow, but that's quite impressive stats otherwise, so I think I'll definitely be keeping him. Alright then, who else we got here? We've got Rose, who's a 17 year old, so probably going to be looking to loan him out. Who else we got here? Noble, 30 year old, 63. Not the best, not bad vision. Pretty just standard, standard League 2 player to be honest. Uh, Taylor, 25 year old, rated 55. Hmm. I ain't got the best centre midfielder there, so I think we're, we definitely have to be improving this department quite sharpish. So we've got Noble. All right, he's just joined, so I can't sell him. Taylor. Yeah, I don't really... Let's look at his stats. Yeah, they're not the best, are they, to be honest? So I think... Yeah, I'll put him on the transfer list. And I'll put Rose on the loan list. So we definitely have to try and bring in a couple of centre midfielders to try and improve the squad. Yeah, he's a youngster, so he definitely needs to go on loan and get some more experience. Right then, as for the rest of the team, wingers, what have we got here? Pringle and Evans, two left midfielders, and the names were right and mid. So that's all bad. Strikers, Denton, yeah, that's another youngster. He looks pretty good, to be honest, for a 17 year old, so get him out on loan. Alex Revel, I've never really rated, to be honest, and we've got too many, so he can go on the list, and I want to bring in my own striker. As always, the new manager wants to bring his own sort of players, so I'm just going to adjust the budget allocation here. So I think it's probably better off if I go for the loan market. I'll try and buy one player. Um, but I think the, the loan market will suit me better. But um, first off, we definitely need centre-backs because I don't like the centre-backs that we have. One's going out on loan. That means we've only got three left and all of them are quite slow. So I'm going to try and pick up a pacey centre-back. I'm just trying to go from my head here. Who to get? Um, let me think. If I have a look in League 2. See if there's anyone. Anyone that rings a bell that I know is quite good beforehand. Ooh, Christian Pierce. Uh, he's alone from uh, Notts County, actually. He'd be an absolute beast to get, though. Mambo, I think. Uh, no one that I recognise from there, so let's try League One. Ooh, Mvoto. He's good. Who else is it? Michael Hector from Reading. Oh, yes, Nathan Cameron. Now, I know he is a beast. Might be 20, not very good 60, but I know he has great stats. And should be able to compete easily in our team. Should be a star player if we can get him. Um, what does it say? We could offer between 151,000 and 208 to make the deal happen. Alright, let's offer 200k and see what they say. Um, who else we got? Uh, Cameron. Yeah, so look at his stats here. Pretty good. Not the best aggression, but good heading. Good pace on him. Six foot two. You can't really argue with that. He'll definitely be a decent defender uh, in in League 2 if we get him we'd love to get Hector but he's on loan from Reading Cooper's not bad shout 130k mm. um, I would like to get Cameron though because I know how much of a beast he is he's pretty good isn't he and he's a youngster as well <coughs> excuse me Emmanuel Smith whoa pretty good stats as well 6 foot 2 23 year old I think he's just joined though isn't he yeah he's at the club since 2 hours we can't buy him Oh, well, we can buy him. No, he's just joined. Can't buy him. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Got high hopes then. I thought he was able to buy him, but no, we can't. Uh, Magnus, can't even say your last name. <laughs> so I'll call you Magnus. He's pretty good and not not going to cost too much, is he? Well, actually, no. He's a first team player, so they want more. Okay, what about Envoto? He's going to cost quite a lot, isn't he? Oh, no, they don't want that. They don't want too much for him. Alright, let's have a. Have a punt on him then. See what Oldham say about that. Well, to be honest, I swear he's a first team player, so I don't can't see them selling him. Whereas Cameron, um, 
I'm not too sure at Coventry what like what which um where he stacks the defensive duties, so not not sure if he's number one choice or whatever, so we'll see. Anyone else on loan that I get? No, anybody transfer listed then? Obviously I want them to have good defensive abilities, but if they can have a bit of pace then that's gonna add um that's gonna definitely help out our defence because they're all very slow. And obviously when you come against fire strikers, ball over the top, especially what the computer likes to play against you in career mode, um, we're going to get caught out quite a lot. So if at least we've got one centre back, uh, we will see. Just going to check the full loan list now. Andrew Wisdom, it's quite a lot though for our wage. Um, won't be able to get much more players. Ooh, that's a cheap wage if we can get him on loan. Yeah, he's not bad as well. From FC Basel, a jetty. Yeah, it's not bad for an 18 year old, 6 foot 1. I think we'll have a punt on him, we should be able to get him on loan. Hopefully he'll want to join a League 2 team, you never know. Might say no, but put in an offer for him then, see what happens. Anybody else on this list? Whoever, what are your stats like? Um, heading accuracy 37, well that's a definite no from me then. <laughs> um, you've got to be able to head the ball if you're a defender. What about this other guy, 41, not the best. Steven Awusu. Uh, 43 as well. Nathan Ake from Chelsea. Yep, you're not bad. What's your head in accuracy like? You're not too bad. But I think I think a J should should say yes. To be honest, I can't see why he won't say no unless he really does not fancy playing in League Two. But he needs to, he needs to go out on loan. So just seeing, yeah, just the usual um, new stuff that we, that we already know. Selling those players. Lucas wants to go on loan, blah 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 blah. So just simulate this now. So Coventry City transfer or transfer accepted for Cameron. Yes, thank you very much. So we'll put an offer for him. 1.3k a week. He should say yes to that, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Uh, right, you can't get him. Voto is rare enough. And we've got a Jetty on loan. So fantastic news. First sign in there straight away then. Good centre back with pace, 18 year old. And uh, hopefully he'll be a decent player to improve if we can get Cameron as well. Just simulate this on once again now, advance it, see where we get. Still got a long way to go till the uh, the window closes, so we're, uh, we'll start off by getting our defenders. That's what we need most, I feel, from the squad. Uh, offer for Alex Revel then. How much are they offering? 120k. Yep, yeah, well, we'll accept that. Um, don't can't be bothered doing the counter offer. I'll just take the money. To be honest, I'm quite happy with that. Cameron, yes, he's accepted it. So that's two deals now in this first episode. We've got two beast defenders then joining our squad. So that's really good. Both of them with a better pace. So hopefully that will be really good for us. Right then, guys, that is the end of the first episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you give me a like, that'd be fantastic. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with the series. Follow me on Twitter. I'll let you know when I'm uploading or you have any questions. And do let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Peace.